Kidnapper at the park. Let's not meet. I was living in Arizona at the time. I believe it was around 2000 and I was about 8 or 9 depending on the month. I'm not 100% sure. Well, there used to be a huge park just behind the row of houses that were facing mine. I could walk there in less than 5 minutes and I did frequently because I was new to the neighborhood and was hoping to meet some friends to play with. After a while of doing that, I had a few people I would call friends. One weekend, I head over to the park after Saturday cartoons. Everything was going well, until some alcoholic man pulls up and starts yelling at me from his pickup truck. I ignore him and keep playing on the monkey bars. He gets out of the truck and starts chasing me. I was always playing tag and running with my friends, so I easily ran through the playground and avoided him for a little while. But I was really scared, and then I saw a woman with a baby sitting in the shade 60 yards away. So I ran as fast as I could right up to her, and then he decides to walk over to her to avoid suspicion. He tells her that he's my dad, and I'm grounded and shouldn't be outside. I explain to her right away that I've never met him before, and he's trying to kidnap me. And she confronts him and tells him to go away. Luckily, there was a nice lady with a baby. Otherwise, I might not be here. Never be the last person to leave the dog park. Followed by the smiling man. This happened to me about a week ago. Honestly, it was one of the freakiest encounters of my life. Read the rules. Hope I'm not breaking any. This is 100 billion percent true. Despite how much it sounds like a Reddit no sleep kind of story. It might sound fake to a lot of people and all I have is my word, but I swear on my life and the life of everyone I love that this is true. I was scared out of my fucking mind and I will remember the encounter until the day I die. Last week, I took my dog to this fence dog park. I tried to go around 5 or 6 because that's when most people get off work and bring their dogs, so there's a large amount of dogs for my puppy to socialize and play with. It rained earlier in the day, but stopped, so I was surprised to see only one person in the dog park. I knew both him and his dog, and we chatted for a bit while our dogs chased each other around. Also worth mentioning, the atmosphere was just so creepy. A low, thick fog covered the entire dog park. It was that horrible weather that, that somehow both humid and cold, just a dreary, rainy fall day. It wasn't that dark yet, so when the guy and his dog left, I decided to stay for a while and play fetch with my dog. Mistake number one. I threw the ball around for a bit, and on one throw, something, something caught my eye. There was a man, in all black, hood up, standing at the fence completely still, facing towards me. I couldn't see his face, so I don't know if he was looking at me or not. I tried to brush it off, as maybe he was just watching us play fetch. I do have a five-month-old puppy, after all, who is adorable and draws a lot of attention from strangers. I threw the ball in his direction a few more times, so that I could glance at him to see if he would move on. No. He never did. At that point, I started to get a pretty freaked out. I didn't want to stay alone in a dog park with only one entrance. It was significantly darker at this point as well. I really, really wanted to get out of there. But in order to leave, I, I'd have to walk past this man. You have to walk the length of the dog park in order to get where you parked. Walking past him was, was the only way out because there was only one entrance. So I gathered all my stuff and began to leave. I walked to the entrance, glancing at him every few seconds, and he's still standing completely still. But now he's turned more towards me. I took out my phone and pretended to be talking to someone, saying things like, I'll be there in 20 minutes. 15? What? Uh, that's, that's too soon. Okay, Dad, I'll try. The moment I left the dog park, he turned and started walking away towards the parking lot. I was relieved but only for a moment. He wasn't walking, he was... 
shuffling, only a few feet at a time, then he would stop completely, turn around and look at me, and then keep going repeat three, three or four times. Then his walking changed. He started throwing his head back, looking up at the sky repeatedly in a rhythm, and taking huge strides forwards, his movements very bizarre, an exaggerated tiptoe-like walk. If you've ever read The Smiling Man on No Sleep, it, it reminded me of that, like exactly like that, except he was moving slow, not fast. The moment he started doing it, that, that story was the first thing to pop into my head, and still every 5-10 feet or so, he would look back at me. I was walking behind him slowly, in the same direction towards my car. Needless to say, I was pretty much 100% convinced I was going to be raped, stabbed, robbed, kidnapped, whatever. I was scared to death. My whole body was tense and cold. I never felt that kind of fear in my entire life, like deep, horrible, pit of your stomach, I could die tonight, fear. Then, suddenly, he turns sharp and runs into the trees alongside the path. I took this opportunity to pick up the pace and pass the spot where he had ran into the trees. Mistake number two. Barely seconds after I passed him, I heard a rustling, and he's coming out of the trees behind me fast, no longer walking like the smiling man, a fast Kurt Power walk straight at me. This is where I nope the fuck out and just started sprinting. Side note, my puppy was clueless to everything and was just having a great fucking time. Oh boy, running. It's fucking useless. I was only about 30 yards from my car. I scooped up my dog. Not an easy feat to do while running. He's 40 pounds. And jumped into the driver's seat. I started my car, locked the doors, and peeled out of there as fast as I could. As I backed out of the parking space, the lights shined for just a second on the man. He was standing at the end of the path and the beginning of the parking lot, completely still, just staring. I may or may not have called my mom and cried the entire way home. I did. I was, I was so shaken up. I didn't want to walk around at night for a few days. Even writing this has made me incredibly uncomfortable. I've told people that I frequently see about this encounter, and now I make sure that I am never the last person in the dog park. Creepy, imitating smiling man, let's never meet, ever. Priest in the park. Okay. So this event happened to me a few years ago, and in the park behind my house. I was about 15 and had experienced strange men following and talking to me, and many of my friends, so I know how to act around them and to avoid them. It's important to know that I live in a neighborhood where there's quite a bit of violence and drug use, rape, gangs, and occasionally a few shootings. This is very unusual due to the fact that I live in Australia and in the suburbs. Anyways, on with the story. It was a nice sunny Saturday afternoon, and I had decided to take my dog for a walk around the park. The park behind my house joins the next street over to my street. It's like a big loop, so to get home you walk through the park. My street and the one next to it are also dead ends, so there's never any people around. It's very peaceful, but can get creepy at times. I used to walk past a man who kept a giant knife in his sock on my way home from school, and there's been a few times where the cops have been called around nighttime because of strange people in the park doing bad things. But during the day, it's pretty safe and quite beautiful. As I reached the beginning of the park, I saw a priest sitting on one of the park benches looking up at the trees. I didn't think much of him, because we do surprisingly have two Greek churches in our neighborhood. 
He was an older man, maybe 60 to 65, so if he was going to make a move, I didn't think he could do much. I walked past him with my dog, and out of the corner of my eye, I saw his head turn to look at me. I brushed it off because after all, I was the only other person in the park. But after I took about five more steps, I heard leaves behind me crunching. So I looked back, only to see that the priest had gotten up and was slowly heading in my direction. At this point, I was a bit anxious and he was starting to creep me out a bit, but I pushed my thoughts aside and just said that I was overthinking. I kept walking through the park with about 250 meters to my house. The park is very open with only a few trees which are spread apart, so it's easy to see everything and everyone. As I walked home, I kept looking behind me to see where the priest was. He was still following me and his steps were in sync with mine. I was creeped out, but I didn't just want to run just in case he started running too. I just acted casual, but kept a close eye on what he was doing. I was nearly at the end of the park and was about to turn into my street. I decided to look back at the priest one more time. This time, when I looked, he stopped walking and smiled at me, but not with a normal smile. It was a big, creepy smile that gave me chills. My dog even noticed that and began barking at the priest. But it snapped me back into reality and I decided to bolt back to my house. As soon as he began running, the priest picked up his pace and started chasing after me. He caught up pretty quick for a guy his age. I was actually impressed for a second. He got close enough to reach his arm out and attempt to grab the hood of my jacket. At that point, I screamed and was about to cry. I made it back home and luckily the door was unlocked. I got inside with the dog and was panting. I never told anyone what happened, but I continued to watch the priest from my kitchen window. He stood outside my house for a bit, trying to look in. But then he just turned around and started to head back to the park. He looked as though he was mumbling something to himself. I don't know what he wanted or if his intentions were good or bad, but weird priest in the park, let's never meet.